Life is full of activity, but there's also rest and repair. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And today we're going to focus on the rest and repair part. We've been doing a lot of breathing and, and working with our, our supplements and everything in terms of the blood and the lymph. And, and of course, in the blood, our heart's always pumping. Our, we're always breathing. There's things moving. I mean, and we've just been connecting to the energy and bringing in the sugar and metabolism and food and breaking it down and sending it to the, to the cells. And there's, you know, there's a lot of activity, a lot of stuff going on. And, and most of us would say, hey, I need more energy, right? And that's something that, that you know, we say, well, how do I get more energy? That, that's, a, that's a big question a lot of times. Or a lot of times when you ask people, what is your wellness goal? What do you want for wellness? A lot of people say, I want more energy, okay? And so th that's very reasonable. And we've been doing a lot to work with that. But part of having energy is having a rest phase okay so even god rested on the seventh day so we're we're built uh and designed with with the idea that rest is is built into our life and on you know certainly we'd look at a week and we say okay here you know on the seventh day on sunday we rest but we also have daily rest and we also have rest and repair repair that's happening all the time so today we're going to connect in you know through the bloodstream uh, and lymph, and we'll, we're going to connect to that part of rest and repair. Rest simply means that we, we slow down on some of the activity parts that we're doing. So if we think about sleep, uh, we're, we're not running around, we're not moving, we're, so we're not metabolizing, we're not expending energy. And that energy process, the, we've been you know, talking about the metabolic system of creating, uh, uh, of having sugar create energy. Well, that energy happens in the form of ATP that happens in deep in the mitochondria, which produces a lot of oxidative damage. Uh, and so every time we goose the system for energy, we're actually creating damage. Well, you know, if you want an analogy, you can come to my house with five kids, and anytime we do anything, right, the system gets gets broken. In other words, where things come out of out of the pantry, things come out of the closets, you know, games get brought out, uh, like we get taken out of the box and we play with them, right? And stuff goes everywhere. So in other words, you know, activity has with it a messiness, right? And then we have to, you know, what happens if you don't put all that stuff back and then put it back in the shelf? Well, then the whole place is a wreck. And, you know, we've lost our, you know, we get distracted then by what we did yesterday. Well, the same thing kind of happens in the bloodstream and in the cellular, at the cellular level. If we don't get a chance to put things back and, and get the repair mechanism going on, you know, if we don't ever rest so that the repair system can get back on track and get ahead of it, then we do end up with yesterday's problems carrying forward to today, okay? And so this is that rest and repair. We have to have the rest to give a chance for the repair to catch up. So what is the repair? The repair is actually literally repairing damage. There's a lot of cellular damage that occurs from metabolism and energy, energy expenditure, uh, and our movements will, will create some damage. Our stress levels create damage. We can, we can literally create damage in our brain and in our endocrine system from a, a amount of stress. We just carry push, 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 a lot of stress. We can actually push our system into actual damage. So there's uh, you know, all this activity and, and we need to learn how to rest. So this is probably not a great uh, uh, series to, of, you know, a little exercise to do at the beginning of the day, uh, but rather at the end of the day before before sleep or in the afternoon before a nap when we're going to, to take a pause uh, and feel this rest, okay? Well, like I said, rest as in terms of less activity and then repair. Repair happens, we've talked about the membrane system of the cell getting damaged, the DNA actually gets damaged, all those things need to be repaired and there's mechanisms for that. So we're gonna do a little bit of breathing and connecting to that. All of the, all of the repair process does take, ironically, takes energy, takes material. We have to have the right stuff to help the body do its repair and that's where we lean back on things like enzymes and to clean out the system. And we have the vitamin C, the super C helps with the repair mechanisms of regarding the, the antioxidant uh, and oxidation stuff. We also have the repair uh, of getting the nutrient, nutrients that we need and that's the sulfurzyme, right? I come back to that over and over again as a tremendously valuable tool for helping with repair. So there are times at night 
before bed, I will take the Super C Sulfurzyme and enzymes uh, all before bed. I'll take them all at the same time. And that could be Detoxime, Allerzyme, it doesn't matter which one, um, you know, even an essential zyme for. Those are, those are all uh, Young Living enzymes products that, uh, that you know, we could choose from. Often I still have some, I like Detoxime, and especially I think of that in terms of night. So I'll take six Detoxime before bed, and that really helps cleanse out the lymphatic system. It cleanses out, starts with the tube, obviously the digestive tube starts to get cleaned out, cleansed out with that, and broken all the little material, extra foreign material, or I mean the leftover material, it gets broken down and things start to clean out. The vitamin C, again, like I said, is it goes into the antioxidant system and helps with the uh, in that replenishing that system. And then the the sulfurzyme is we need nutritional sulfur. Every uh, every protein starts with a sulfur-containing amino acid called methionine. And if our body gets depleted, which it does, even on the inside of the cell of of that basic nutrient, then we end up not being able to to do our protein synthesis. And a lot of this repair, the chance to repair is happens all the way down at protein synthesis. We're making new proteins and, and getting those to, to repair. So we're gonna take a moment or two of breathing into the blood and allowing it to calm, okay? Allowing that blood to, allowing the day's stress, the activity that we have, we kind of push that blood to do its thing, right? We, we've been doing a lot of this. We've been breathing for energy. And that's, of course, that's a great thing. We like that. Uh, but we do need to learn how to calm that down. So we're going to breathe in and listen to the blood. And again, this might not be the best time to do this early in the day. Uh, but you can also, you, once you do connect to this rest, you can really do this well before bed. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter when you're doing this. Go ahead and, and play with this a little bit so you can connect to it. Uh, and then you can really use this before a nap or for, before sleeping at, at night. So... I'm gonna breathe in, make that connection to the blood. And and just there's a feeling, and this is where I could use that that uh, calm water, the pool of water, and look at the agitation. I'm gonna just pay attention to the agitation that's in the blood and, and work to calm that down. So breathe in. And of course, I'm breathing into the water. The blood is already fluid, so it's an easy image to connect to a pond and and look at that water and see how choppy it is, uh, and then do some breathing to help calm that down and and feel that rest, uh, that rest moment, or at least the taking the agitation out. Every every thought we have, every anxiety we have, every worry, concern, every stress that comes through our lives in 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 a vector, and a, a vector is is a is something that has you know, in physics a vector is a force with direction okay so there's a force there's a it has a direction and there's a lot of vectors in our lives things come at us at all at, you know all the time i hey i want this done there's there's a there's a force with direction and uh, and 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 boom 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 there's all these vectors happening through our lives and then we put our own vectors in uh, and and you know shoot these little darts through our through our lives and go oh, i need to do that i need to do that i need to do that and um, so there's these constant things, forces at play in our, in our bodies, in our lives, and all that ends up in the bloodstream because that, the water is so sensitive, it can pick up all the energies and frequencies. You know when someone comes to you and they, they want something, you know, like your, your child is, is, you know, you, know, you can almost feel them coming, you know, like from, from half the house away. Uh, and you go, oh, okay, there's, you know, they're going to want something, right? And it could be something simple. Hey, can you help me cut this orange or whatever? But what I'm saying is we pick up on that very easily. It's like I'm needed. I mean, we like that because we like to be needed. But we also, there's demands. There's constant demands on us, okay? Uh, and then we put those demands on ourselves as well. So that's what I mean by these vectors. So I'm going to breathe into the blood and get in touch. Just do a listening breath. And show me that water, right? And there's my image. And then I'm gonna, and that's just the level of agitation, all these different vectors, all these different things coming in. And so now I'm gonna breathe in that calm. I like to imagine the, the peace of Jesus, the, that, that calm that was in his field. And breathe that in. I mean, there are some wonderful essential oils, you know, peace and calming, uh, uh, you know, lavender, chamomile oils, um, 
you know, even the citrus oils, uh, orange uh, or citrus fresh can be, can be nice and calm. It depends on, you know, what works for you. But uh, there's lots of, of things that we can add to this process, but basically just a single breath with awareness. I'm going to bring in that calm. And breathe deeper into the body and breathe that calm into the blood. And then on the other side of the blood is the lymph. So I'm gonna breathe that calm into the lymph. Now that I've got that image of that nice steady pool, I want to be aware of the repair. So now that things are rested, I'm gonna breathe into that and in, in, in it's, it's kind of a tricky thing because it's, a repair is essentially an action, but we don't, we're not trying to boost the action back up again. We're trying to stay in this calm mode and then deliver this nice message of, of rest and repair into the tissue through the bloodstream. And let's start with the, with the brain giving that message because that's where if we're talking about sleep, there's some melatonin, the hormones, the rest hormones and all the rest of it starts up in the head. So I'm gonna breathe up into the head and allow that message to start to flow from the head down into the body. And again, we've got that nice, uh, I kind of, I don't know why this image came up, but I see this pond. And if you've seen one of those misty mornings when the, the little mist above the pond, and that's kind of that rest image uh, that, that is, is just kind of gently swirling and so there's a little bit of movement, but it's, it's above the water and it's there to give that calm repair. I'm going to allow that to come through my body. And if I've just taken some supplements or within, within the last little bit, uh, taken some supplements to help with repair, invite those to make their way in gently, quietly, softly coming into the blood and delivering those out to the tissue and having the tissue say thank you for that wonderful nutrient and the stuff that I need. Thank you for the moment of pause for the rest and then that chance to repair. A lot of, of great time to do some gratitude, thanking the body, thanking the cells, thanking the nuclei, thanking your DNA, all that for its busyness and its activity that has given us the life for the day and we have that nice calm pool so a great way to end the day or to pause for a nap uh, and and allow that system to come down probably not a good idea to do this right before you're having to need to have a burst of energy for your work but if you're about to go into a board meeting this is a one breath meditation. Calm, repair, okay. One more breath to act to bring the action back up and move, right? And then you can move on. So don't do that one right before bed. But uh, sometimes, you know, we, we can have that rest, even if it's a one breath rest and repair, and then a one breath reactivation, okay, time to come up. And that can also, if we're trying to make a decision, this is a great little meditation to do when in trying to make a decision. There's too much information, too much chatter, too much stuff. Do some breathing, do some calming. Get that information to settle out. Get yesterday's information to leave and pause and come so that we're clear and we're in the moment and we're okay, what, are, what kind of decision do I need to make right now that gives me a new vector, start a new vector to go into a new direction. Okay, so that's the lesson for today, some rest and repair. Uh, hopefully that's been useful to you. We will have a great, happy wellness day and night, and we will see you tomorrow.